is a picture of a violin that I found on Pixabay. And my daughter saw it and thought, why didn't you do a cello? Because she played the cello. But I like this picture. It's very simple. And I think it would look nice with a deep, dark background and some lifting and adding back in these rich tones. So I have drawn it out on Yuko. And I'm going to start by lightening the drawing and then masking the lightest parts and the key shapes. I'm masking. And I'll let this dry. Now that the masking fluid is dry on our violin, I'd like to put the inks on it for the background. The inks I've selected are pitch black, teak wood, sepia, and eggplant. And I'm just going to put them all over in a drippy fashion. So starting with the black. And the teak wood. I think that was sepia. This is the teak wood. And eggplant. laying it down. I'm going to use a makeup sponge and kind of cover all the surface and this will have the benefit of pulling off a little bit of ink too. So if you ever find that your ink is too thick this is a good way of removing some of it. like the texture to be more uniform here. And I'll let this dry, I think just laying flat here. Actually, as it's drying, I picked up the sponge and I'm just re-putting the texture on it. You get different effects as things are drying. Now that the background is dry, I'm gonna pull off the masking fluid. Now we have the masking fluid off and I'm going to put in the wood for the violin. And I've got some Valencia dried in the palette. And I'm gonna add some sepia to it and I'll see what I'm hoping for just kind of a warm brown. We'll see where we are. That's not too bad. I'm going to come up all the way to the masking line. At the same time that I'm painting in, I'm also pushing so I can begin to get this uh, ridge line in there. I'm gonna add a little bit more Valencia to it. This area is kind of blue in the reflection. I think I'll ignore the F holes for now. So I'm painting a base layer of this kind of mahogany color for the violin and then I'll kind of modulate it because we've got lots of areas of light and dark in it.
At this point, it's all just straight Valencia. You have so much brown on the surface that it just takes straight orange to kind of counteract it. So for the uh, more black parts, the chin rest and I forget what it's called, the fingerboard perhaps, whatever it is. This is eggplant. We definitely have a blue cast as well, so I'll be adding something in there like that. Kind of put more controlled eggplant in. This is a little butterscotch. So now I'll take a pass with the cotton swab and just do a little blending and lifting. This is a kind of a sepia marker and I'm going to use it to kind of add a little bit more color into this. I think I like the brush better. First though I do need to add a little bit of blue. This is a blue marker. It's very intensely blue, so I have to tone that back a little bit. This is the brush and eggplant, and see if I can coax more even distribution of that blue. And this is the cotton swab and alcohol. So I'm going back to the brush and ink. This is the Valencia. Put the Valencia up in this part of the bow as well. It's really more of a mahogany color, but or much darker burgundy. This is the sepia pen, and I'm going to use it for adding some more lines and definition in.
I'm also going to use this pen to clean up the bow. Do a little lifting in the bow. And some white pen in the violin. And we're not really that close to done, but well, maybe we are. But I'd like to see what it looks like with these white highlights on it. This is the black pen. So our violin might play a little better if we had some strings for it. So I'm a little nervous about putting them in. Gonna add a little more color to our bow. Maybe even straighten the line out a little bit. to this. So there's a couple extra tweaks I'd like to do. One is I'd like to make this a little bit more subtle and I'm going to uh, First of all, I'll just make the edge of it smaller. And I'm going to darken just kind of parts of it. I'm going to do the same up in this area. We've got a little bit too much white, I think. And a tiny bit of softening and lifting. And just a little more with the black pen. I think I'll call it good. 